Hi, I'm Nicole with DoMyOwn.com. Today we're going to be talking about how to get rid of spiders using our spider control kit. Our spider control kit has all of the best products together in one kit that you need to be able to successfully treat the inside of your home for spiders. But first things first. We need to make sure that we take down all of the spider webs that you can see inside your home. I would recommend getting a cobweb duster and taking a walk around your home, looking up high and down low and dusting those cobwebs and spider webs that you see. The reason for that is twofold. First, you want a good clean surface to be able to spray your insecticide on. And second, those spider webs trap insects and insects are the food source for your spiders so by getting rid of that food source for them it's going to go a long way to helping to alleviate the problem when you receive the kit there's going to be three different products in your kit one is going to be a liquid concentrate insecticide spray for cracks and crevices two is going to be a pressurized contact kill aerosol spray and three is going to be monitoring glue boards the first product in the kit that you're going to use is going to be your liquid concentrate insecticide. This is what's going to give you your residual. All that means, this is a product that's going to keep killing pests for a long period of time as long as you apply it as per the labeled instructions. To use this product, the first step is going to be to put on gloves before you start. Shake the concentrate well, Fill your sprayer with the required amount of water and insecticide as listed on the product label and agitate the sprayer before you finish filling the sprayer with water and agitate one more time before application. Apply the spray in cracks and crevices that spiders and insects may enter or hide in like around window frames, door frames, under and behind appliances, in closets and storage areas, in corners, and where utilities enter the structure. Allow the areas to fully ventilate and dry before allowing pets or people back into the room. Okay, so you finished with step one, now it's on to step two. Step two is going to be your aerosol contact kill. This is going to be used to be sprayed directly on spiders to kill them right away. Pay special attention to cracks, hidden surfaces, baseboards, windows, and door frames. And again, make sure to let the areas fully ventilate and dry before allowing pets and people back into the room. In the kit, you're going to find insect monitoring glue boards. And these are for you to be able to put out in corners of your home, in rooms and closets where you've seen pests and spiders before, just to help you monitor and make sure that your population is going down and that you're doing everything right with the rest of your treatment plan. To use the insect monitoring glue boards, you'll wanna remove the paper to expose the glue backing and you will want to put the traps in areas where spiders or other insects may hide and travel, such as under cabinets, behind toilets, in closets, and in corners. Remember to check your insect monitoring glue boards weekly and replace them with fresh ones if you notice that they're full of insects, dust, or other debris. Also, monitoring them weekly will allow you to notice if you have a decline in pest presence on your glue board, that means that you are successful and you're doing something right. And most importantly, make sure that you are following the detailed product label that comes with each product. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to reach out to us. I hope that you found all of this information today helpful. Be sure to like, subscribe, and follow. Thanks!